Okay, so there's the added I explored earlier and the cable running across here. And sure enough, there are two adits over here as well. I told you I'd come over here and film, but there was good stuff. And uh, there are two adits over here as well. So go up and uh, explore those now. So the two adits up here are right on top of each other. It's kind of interesting. The lower one has track coming out of it. And, and it's just over here. And the upper one does not have track coming out of it. So I'm guessing that the upper one is the smaller one. Um, well, as I'm over here, there's a road taken off up this way, which again is indicated on the topographic map and is where I assume the ore and stuff was trucked out of here. Okay, that's chuck stuff there. And the bottom at it is just down there. I was digging out a little bit so I could get in there, see what was there. And then the uh, upper one is right here. You see a timber in the front right there. So, uh, Get in and check it out. My lights on. It goes in a decent way. It's dry though, so it makes me think that it uh, may not go back too far. But there are some timbers in here. Just going at least as far as I can see here. Still going. Uh, oh, still going around the bend. Oh, okay. And stops right here. So, a little prospect. So let's go check out that lower at it. Okay, now I'm coming down to that lower one. I asked Chuck to uh, keep an eye on me on this one because this one's a bit sketchy. Actually, it's really sketchy in terms of the entrance. You'll see in a minute. But, uh, see the track right there and over here. Right there. And then the adit. You can see where Chuck is right now. That's where the adit is. I definitely have to uh, work to get into this one. I dug it out a little bit, as you can see, but uh, it's still going to be a bitch getting in this one. A bit sketchy, huh? This adit is huge. Yeah, it's big once you get back there, but getting back there is the hard part. Dude, if this is. I thought it was two. It's, it's wide, isn't it? This thing's huge. Yeah. I mean, big, big. So, uh, <laughs> I have to squeeze through here. Okay, so there's looking back at Chuck, where I just came in. And you can see the adit takes off down there. And then it also takes off here in front of me. But, there's this big pillar of rock in between. It, it splits like right at the entrance here, which is completely bizarre. It's not a collapse. For this area, it's bizarre as fuck. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, yeah, not around here. I mean, I really thought that was a collapse at first, but that's I not. Yeah, I, I, this might not be plaster. This might be load, dude. Yeah. That is all hard rock. So... How far back does she go? Uh, it goes and immediately turns, so I gotta go in and uh, check yeah, it, it out. Might, it might actually tie right back into this. It might, but that's still an interesting feature. Yeah, so nonetheless, absolutely. So, I'm off. Alright, buddy. Can you see the rail in there at, at all yet? Not yet. I don't see any sign of rail yet. It keeps going. 
bitching. Little bottle in here. That that one on the right does not tie back in. That's fucking crazy, dude. That is absolutely that's weird. Yeah, that added on the right does not come back in here. That is very strange. Having to crouch down really low in here. Uh, really low, man. Uh, wow, it keeps going. This is really hard going though. I'll do my best. I'm bent over completely right now. I think this one's pretty old. I don't see anything in here that uh, says new to me. The water's certainly deep. Oh, it keeps going. Well, if the water stays this deep, it'll be easy going. I can bend over so much. Uh, oh wow. There's a uh, nice quartz vein right there. Let's see what they're after. This is a load mine, it seems like. Let's see how far back it goes. Sorry, it's hard to walk through this. Um, I don't see any sign of rail. Or feel any sign of rail. There's a couple of timbers at my feet. Right now I can feel. Uh, let's see. Okay, it keeps going. This is a really narrow at it. My shoulders are practically uh, rubbing against both sides. Okay, I'm walking on some really old boards and timbers right now, I'm not sure which. Oh my god, this is really narrow. Okay. Okay, I can feel rail. Just hit rail. You know, I was thinking that this had uh, filled up with silt and dirt, and that's why it was so small, but no, this was a really small line. These guys would have been punched over or been dwarfs to work in here. Keeps going off to the left up here. You see the, the outline, I know the, the water's rippling right now, but see that outline of the rail right there. And this keeps going to the left now. All hard rock so far. It keeps going, wow. Now it goes off to the right up there. I can see the uh, the rail and some boards and timbers more clear here. Really, really small at it. One of the smallest attics I've ever been inside. Oh man. Right when I said that, <laughs> it opens up into a huge, not huge, but a large Doped area. Oh, there's something going back to my left here, or excuse me, to my right. That was a hole. Okay, this is canaries. Okay. So, that keeps going that way, as far as I can see past the stole. This is all 
cleaned out here and then behind me there's a whole other drift I bet this is the one that comes in on the other side of that entrance that split right there that's crazy I don't know how easy it'll be to get up there but I will uh, I'll try on the way back but I'm certain that's that that fork at the entrance I'm sure that's the other side of it in the meantime let's uh, Let's see what's up here. Some more, there's some stoles on the ground I'm tripping over. They uh, cleaned out a big, big cavity here. Here's some running water in the back. Still the rail. Oh man. Okay. So drift runs off the left, but there's a level there. Can't tell how far back that goes. Let me get a better position. Okay, there's some rubble that fell down here, so I'm gonna climb up on that as much as I can, although I don't think I'll be able to climb up on this because it's really uh, slick and I don't see anybody get a handful. But uh, here is a view of that area. I cannot tell how far back that goes. That's killing me. I cannot see. Doing the best I can on the camera. Hopefully, it's coming across the camera. But uh, I just gotta get back there. So, so that leaves us one on the left. Which seems to go back here and go shortly to the left. That's a rail in here. Really, really. Looks like uh, an old dynamite box or something here. An old box with the remains of something in there. That's really cool. I'm surprised it's held up as well as it has. And let's see, I've got a little bit of a collapse right here, but I can uh, climb over that. And that oh, looks like it might dead end. Uh, let me climb up a little bit. Yeah, this ends right there. You guys can see. Um, man, I'm really curious about those uh, drifts taken off from that big stope back there. Wish I had a ladder with me. Okay, guys, I'm back in that big stope out chamber. And I tried climbing up this, but uh, it's, it's too soft and crumbly. I just couldn't uh, couldn't get up there. So, you know, I, I hate to leave something like this behind, especially with the water coming down. I'm sure that goes back a decent distance. Um, but I just, yeah, I don't have any way of getting up there without a ladder or something. Uh, as I was climbing up there, though, I noticed there's all this quartz right here on the ceiling. Isn't that wild? That's all quartz. This whole room must have been comprised of quartz that they uh, cleared out. Which is wild if you think about it. So I'm going to go uh, take 
make a crack at climbing up that other drift. Hopefully I can get up that one at least. So I'm heading over to check out that other drift and I just noticed on the way out next to the stole right here, another beautiful uh, vein of quartz. So I mean, this is just your classic load mine. It's got everything that makes a load mine a load mine. And then coming up on that other drift now, I got a stole right above me. You know guys, this is really a uh, soft, crumbly material here. I, um, man, I would love to get up there, but just not sure how I would, I don't have any handholds. Like I could brace my feet off of this section here, but I don't have anything to grab onto. I'm not even sure how I did that, but somehow I was able to scramble up here. I bet you guys don't know many people that go rock climbing and waders. That is not easy work, but somehow I did that. So, let's see. That drift I really desperately want to get into is there. Again, that's where it came from down there. And I really think, at a very high level of confidence, that this comes out at that split back there. We'll see. It's like uh, a track back here too. Wow. See some bits of wood here. And yeah, there's a track here. Oh my gosh, if I thought that other one was small, this one's even smaller. Actually, you know what? There's not track here. There are the indentations where track was. So I wonder if this is an older uh, drift right here and they recycled the rail in that, in that lower one. Oh my God, this is low in here, you guys. This is so low. I'm bent over completely and my back's almost scraping. This is a really uh, unique setup they have with this that fork, that forked portal. I've never seen that or heard of that anywhere else. And it keeps going. A little bit of water here. I think that's the other side of where I came in, right there. While I was exploring down below, Chuck kept exploring up and found more adits. You can see there's one right there in front of me, and there's a waste rock pile up there, but he said that one was eroded shut. But we looked inside the one in front of us, and it seems to go back a ways, plus it's dry, so. We're going to head in there and check that out. Actually on top of a pretty big waste rock pile right now. It, uh, you can see it goes all the way down there. All the way down to the creek actually. Which is quite a way down. So this could go up away. And given how that drift was heading off sort of north and up in the last at it, I'm wondering if this one in front of us now is going to connect to it. I sure hope it does because it looked interesting. But we'll go in and see. Okay, here's a closer look at that portal. See an old uh, drill bit stuck in the ground right there. And the 
looking down inside, you can see it's dry, which that's really nice. Um, so I'm turning the camera off to slide down in there, and then I'll pick up at the bottom there. Okay, I'm just inside the portal now, and uh, looking back, that is where I slid down from. And when you first look in here, an immediate problem presents itself in the form of a collapse right there. However, there's a piece up in the corner right there that I think I can squeeze through. So I am going to head up there and I will rejoin you with the camera uh, up there. Okay, Chuck's coming in now. And here I'm coming in and cursing. Um, there are bugs in there. And I'm up on that collapse now. And you see where it came out of the ceiling there. And the drift keeps heading off that direction. I'm use my drift keeps heading off in that direction. Which looks like there might be another collapse back there, but we got back and find out. All right, I'll spot you from here. This is that crumbly. Uh, yeah. Shit. So, as slow as she goes. It's dry though. Yeah, it is dry. That's fucking. No complaints about that. No, it doesn't look like it's that bad, dude. Uh, what? Dude? what? Say again? I don't think this is a class. Oh, is there a stope or something up there? I, well, I think these, I think something is in here. Seeing this out. You know, not, not when the mine was open, but... Yeah. You know. Well, no, you're, you're definitely right, because uh, off to my left right here yeah. is the smallest adit or drift I've ever seen in my life. Some cubbing? You, well, you, you, actually, it's worth seeing. <laughs> um, that goes back maybe 10 feet or so. And then just stop so you can see the pick marks in the back of the no wall. Back? Ten feet or so. Okay. Um, and then in front of me here, somebody uh, took a bunch of stuff out of the floor, which keeps... Holy shit. This, I think, is an ore passage really? down... I bet that goes... I bet that connects to that drift I just explored. Uh, it was dry actually, the, the upper one. No way. So I think that is an ore passage going down to where I was. Yeah, because that one down there was probably a haulage tunnel then. Yeah. And then this, uh, let's see. I can't tell if this is collapsed. We can't go any farther, but. Well, yeah, I can't tell if it's collapsed or if it's just, uh, they just stopped right here. That's where it stopped right there. I can't tell if that came out of this. I might have had a stope or something up there, it's hard to say. Oh, that's old, dude. That's really old. That is exploratory. Yeah. Look at the quartz in the wall right there. Did you see that? I did. Okay. I don't know if I don't know if this was a stope or what. It's just too old to tell. There's a ton of material I'm resting on right now, but I can't tell uh, where it came from. I mean, I can't tell if it goes up or not. Anymore. Yeah, I'm resting on, on a bunch of material right now, but it, I mean, it doesn't really look like it came from up there. But you know, where else would it have come from? There's a nice vein right there. Though you're too right. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Look at that. That is a nice vein. You are right, sir. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. did you film that? Uh, I did. That sounds like it goes to the center of the earth. Dude, I gotta do that again. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Holy crap. That sounds like it's even deeper than the one I just went down. I mean, that went down. Okay, you tell me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, that sucked. Okay. Holy shit. Man. 
that's like a, that's that's over a hundred feet. That's I'm guessing. I don't know where that runs into. I thought that connected to uh, the one I was in. That goes down. So that, that seems like it goes farther, doesn't it? Yeah, it does sound like it goes farther. Man. Fucking banana slug. Oh, that's good. I would have felt uh, deprived if we hadn't had a banana slug Dude, yet this year. that is impressive. It's just like, it looks so, like, meaningless, doesn't it? It's just this little, little tiny little yeah, hole right it's, here. It's obviously a passage, or passage, but, um... Man, that goes a long way. Jesus wow. Christ. Well... I guess this was a little, uh, I mean, obviously there's a nice vein in here. Holy shit! Oh, I didn't see that. What's up there? A shaft. Okay, well. And it's another, it's, a, it's... So that's an ore passage connecting to an ore passage. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So that goes... So much for me being Captain Obvious. Okay, don't be careful. Yeah. Slipping. <laughs> okay. That obviously goes up to the one that was caved or yeah, shut. Yeah, exactly. This thing almost looks like a slick inside right here. Like a, a old fault. Yeah, well, you know, dropping all the ore down here would have scoured it clean, though, or smooth. So, that's interesting. So Look at the quartz in the bowl, too. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, the veins are... The, the, the that stuff. is wild. I can't believe I missed this on the way in. I was so focused on what was in front of me. Fucking bugs. Yeah, it's a nice quartz vein in here, isn't there? Dude, it's just... I mean, look at this. It's along this whole side. I mean, I don't see any color, but... Yeah, but obviously that's what they were back here for. Yeah, I mean, and, and, you know, that's the one they left behind. Think about what they took out. So, I'm, so they must have just been following quartz veins all the way up this hill. Yeah. And then dropping them down to that main haulage out. You said that's what was down there, right? Yeah, there's another load mine down there. So they must have just been dropping this stuff all the way down. I cannot believe how far down that, that Dude, that's passage amazing. went. And, and I mean, I wonder how far up that one goes. I mean, yeah, me too. <laughs> if it's not connected to the one right above, that actually that goes. The one right above us is this way. So that connects to something completely different. I don't know what it would though, because there's not really. There's nothing really else up there. So, that's yeah. that's wild. Okay, I climbed up to that upper attic just to show you guys what it looked like, and uh, Chuck was definitely right. We're uh, not going to be getting in this one today, but uh, there it is, and uh, the waste rock pile for this one was pretty big too, so I uh, would imagine a lot of material came out of there, or it went back a ways, or what have you, but uh, this is all the waste rock I'm walking on right now, and there's Chuck down there, to give you a sense of how large the, uh, the waste rock pile is. So we were coming out and found a treasure trove of uh, bits of metal and things like that down here. Got everything from uh, horse or donkey shoes to a little chisel here. Uh, this is an ore cart wheel here. There's a big spike. With a, with a big spike, yeah. You got the uh, cap for the ore cart wheel. There you go. There's another, man, there's another pickaxe head. All kinds of spikes here. Look at that, dude. That yeah. was in pretty good shape. That, that's... Those are like the chintzy made ones, too. You know, like... They didn't put a lot of work in here. Yeah. Them. So there's that. And there's another one here. It's the hammer. Hammer ends. Another one there. Oh, what? What? And what is that? That is... That looks like a socket. Huh. It almost like a drill bit head. Yeah. But Man. maybe it's a, the bit, the end to take the, uh... It's the end to take the, um, to, to undo the, uh, the, the coupler for the, for the, to put a new bit in. Uh, that's possible, yeah. I don't, I 